Falling during a routine is one of the most costly deductions in gymnastics. In the current code, it takes away a full point from the execution score each time it happens. And on top of that, it can deeply impact the gymnast's mindset. This is just a disaster right here. She knows. Yeah. You don't need your coach to tell you. Yep. At the 2011 Visa Championships, Gabby Douglas had probably one of, if not the worst, beam performance of her entire elite career. On the first day of competition, the American gymnast fell three times during the exercise, receiving a 5.450 out of a 10 execution score. Overall, it was a tough meet for Gabby. She also had major landing deductions on her floor tumbling pass and uneven bars dismount. She finished the first day ranked 12th out of 14 all-around athletes. However, the first-year senior did not let this poor performance crush her spirit. Her scores improved on all apparatus during the second day of competition, and Douglas jumped to 7th place by the end of the meet. She secured her spot on the world team primarily as an uneven bars specialist, which had been the USA's weakest event for many years. Gabby went on to become a world champion, hitting her routine during the team final and also qualified for the bars final. The newly garnered international experience gave her a much-needed boost of confidence, leading to an incredible 2012 season, which culminated with Gabby Douglas being crowned all-around Olympic champion at the London Games. And the rest is history. At the 2012 US Olympic Trials, Rebecca Bross also had a disappointing performance, which took her out of contention for the Olympic team. After sustaining a severe knee injury in 2011, the American athlete was aiming for a comeback to the highest level of competition less than nine months post-surgery. She gave up on doing the all-around and became a two-event specialist, only training beam and bars, as those were the two events she would most likely contribute to the team. Bross was still in contention for a spot before the trials solely based on consistent uneven bars scores throughout the previous four competitions. However, a devastating performance on night two, where she fell three times during the exercise and was instructed by her coach to stop mid-routine, completely erased her chances of making the team. Rebecca finished the trials ranked last in both events she was competing in. Due to multiple injuries from 2008 to 2012, Bross is regarded by fans as one of the most unfortunate and unluckiest gymnasts. But despite not being an Olympian, her resume still includes six world championship medals and three national titles. At the 2001 Goodwill Games, at the time, inexperienced senior Carly Patterson was having a pretty good competition, being ranked second in the all-around before the final rotation. The top medal contenders had already given their final performances, and Carly would be the last one to go. She needed a 9.131 score to claim the top spot and walk home with the gold. However, the American gymnast sat down three out of her four tumbling passes, scoring a 7.125, which put her in seventh place by the end of the meet. At the time, a fall counted a 0.5 deduction. If we remove the three falls from her score, she would have ended up with the bronze medal. It still wouldn't have been enough for the gold, but she would have at least made the podium, assuming all her landings were clean, of course. There were reports Carly looked exhausted due to being ill with the flu during this meet, which led to her underperformance. Nonetheless, the American athlete went on to become a world and Olympic champion during the same quad as well as stamp her name in the code of points with one of the most difficult balance beam dismounts ever performed.